Hey fishermen and fisher ladies out there, how you going? Welcome back to another Robbie Mills fishing video. Shout out to Mark from Self Sufficing Me. Just met him at the boat ramp. What a legend. He's also started a um, fishing channel at the moment. Self Sufficing Me. So he hasn't got many videos up on that now, but check him out. He's mainly into gardening and self sufficing um, food and stuff like that on his property. Um, yeah, check him out. And yeah, maybe even get out for a fish with him one day. That'd be pretty cool. Seems like a pretty cool lad. Um, yeah, well, mate, this weather's just too nice. So decided just to head out again Friday afternoon, lunchtime, just after lunch. Gonna head out. Another late start. But yeah, I think I'm gonna head up to Clounger Wide and then see what's happening out there. Maybe come in a bit closer later on and fish some shallower reefs and then punch back just on dark again. Alright yeah, we'll see you out there. Let's go get amongst them. Beautiful weather out here. Just magic. Sometimes the conditions can be too good. The fish don't want to bite. It's got to fish a bit lighter too sometimes when it's like that. A bit heavy at the moment. About 40 pound litre. Already baited. Running a wind run about three, four meters onto another swivel, onto another leader. A few tuna jumping out the back here. And big swirls out the back, actually. Big fish, whatever they are. Could be long tail. Little grassy. Little improv of some sort. Wouldn't mind catching a big long tail. I've got a slug rigged up there, we'll see how we go. Might have to keep moving. Not much is going on here. No good. Might just head out a bit wider, see what's going on that wide. Came out about um, 20k. Fishing are wide, the deeper water, 50 meters or so. A bit of life on the bottom. Hopefully we can catch a fish. We can catch anything in shallow. Hopefully we can find some fish lurking around this area. A bit deeper. Caught some nice fish here before, haven't fished it for probably close to a year maybe. Just float lining, size 4 sinker, double gang, 40 pound litre. Just cast out a little bit, let it wash down. You don't want it hitting the bottom too quick. Pick up the bigger fish on the waft down. Usually a snapper, hopefully. Might 
might have to wait till later in the day to get a better bite. Feeding that line, make it look natural. Can't complain about this weather though. Beautiful. Fishing's quiet though. But yeah, middle of the day. Just keep resisting. Just change that up from going no sinker. Just to see if I can get to the bottom. Might be able to keep it away from the pickers a bit longer. Just a whole filly. I was just about to give up on it. Not sure what it is. Nice pearly. Really nice pearly. Oh well, paid off. Unweighted. Beautiful pearly. About 45 centimetres. Finally got one in the bin. What a beautiful eating fish. Can't complain about that. You! Yeah, Tom. Definitely pays to try something different, that's for sure. Something's not working. Try fishing lighter. Try unweighted. At least then you can say you gave everything a go if it still doesn't work. You can only try different stuff, and then if it doesn't work, well, you've, all, you've, it's all you've, you've done all you can, really. It's gone lighter now, it's gone down to 15 pound gear with a 20 pound litre. And I've just gone a tiny pea sinker for a double gang. It's going to get down a little bit quicker than unweighted. going to entice the bigger fish because the fish are definitely getting a lot smarter around the area. I'll just keep working this area till later this afternoon to see if anything comes on the bite. Sure can't catch fish sitting at home. There's half a, half a chance out here anyway. Sometimes you wish you stayed at home though. Just moved a couple hundred metres. Try a different spot. This looks like it's got a bit more life on it. Who knows really.
<coughs> Still fishing 20 pound. Tiny pea sinker. Just with a whole billy. Pound of workout. Oh, yeah, the snap I made it. Would be nice. corner of the mouth. He wasn't coming off in a hurry. Can't even get that hook out. Beautiful little snapper. About 40. Well, happy with that. Let's try again. Move back up on the mark a bit. All this reverse and I was reversing away from the marks. Thought the wind was going to push us the other way. Yeah, we go this time. Just wafting down slowly. When the snapper hit it, we just hit it a hundred mile an hour. Yeah, I just wasn't getting a bite on me pilly, so I thought I'd just crank it in and yeah, it wasn't far from under the boat and the rack will come up and slammed it. They just can't help themselves. They're probably not even hungry. Just a natural reaction for them. Put a yakker on this time. Try something different. Light gear, 20 pound leader with the whole yakker. Surely something's going to eat it. Nice fresh one, just caught today. Surely something's going to eat it. Come on. strange just to catch one snap like that before and not catch another one yet.
something, I don't know what it is. No, that's not real big. Another mackerel. Well, once they know that I kill a few schoolies. I won't say no to a few Mackie Toms. A lot of these fish that I a lot of these fish that I don't freeze. I just end up giving away to family and friends. Slippy sucker. I'll just dispatch this fella and Put him on ice. about 43 beautiful fish always happy to see a beautiful grassy because they're just awesome eating Yo. that's another one for the box hopefully with the sun dropping they're going to come on the bite a bit more hopefully definitely some good soundings down there to turn the soundings into solid bites. It's all about being persistent, believing in what you're doing, hitting the spots at the right times, get a feel of an area before the before the prime bite period time, which is yeah always later in the RV. But yeah, they're still not biting real hard. They just, like honestly, that fish is just swimming around with it in its mouth. Just saying to his mates, look what I found. <laughs> not really hungry. That could all change. Two to four kilo rod. I think this is 17 pound fire line. It's got 20 pound backing. Great. It's 20 pound leader. Just a wind on straight to the hooks. Plastic for this as well. I felt like changing the plackies. 
which I don't very often. Pretty much just a bait person. Too hard on the 20 pound. Not a real big fish, but been fun on the 20 pound. fishes before. That's what we're talking about. Another beautiful snapper around that 45 to 50 mark. Beautiful eating at that size. Yo! I'll bleed him up. Get back down there. That's all I'm running, double gang. Straight down to sinker, tiny sinker. Double show guns with a swivel in the middle. Size 6 I think pretty sure. I'm just running the hook straight through the top of the back and this one comes straight through the top of the head. Down and holds the mouth shut. Beautiful presented bait then. And let's get it, get it down there. Could be coming on the bite. They're definitely biting better than what they were before. It'd be nice to pull something pretty big. Pound. It'll take something pretty big to dust me on that though. Another bite. to the bottom there. Found 
not a snapper. anywhere close to the bottom. Just need the bigger one to find it first. Snapper go so hard for their size, really. Tiny little fish. Still puts a decent bend in the rod. Imagine what an eight kilo snap's going to do. Oh, that's a good fish. The sun's still plenty high. Two hours before it's dark. Plenty of time to catch some fish. Oh, here we go. I don't know if it was a good fish straight away or what. Might have always been a shark. Have to eat a pilly? I don't know. It felt like it was a shark grabbed it and then it let go of it. That felt like a really good snapper at the beginning. I think I've lost everything. Bit off in the end. Felt like he let go when I chased him. Then he come back and nailed him again. But that was a really good fish. Went straight up. Felt like a six or seven kilo, eight kilo snapper. And then bang, shark got him. Spill. Sharks, eh? Right, hopefully we don't lose any more good fish to sharks. That was the best fish we hooked all day, I think. Unless it was just a shark straight up, but I don't, know. I don't think so. It felt like I had a fish, chased it, let go, and I could feel the weight of the fish again. moved in. Yeah. 
weird, weird, weird. Got bitten off right up the top of, top of me wind on. I don't know what happened then. Shark. I don't know. I don't really know. But I just hope we can pull something good out of all this craziness. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to move slightly. There's too many sharks on this spot now. Move a couple hundred meters. Going back to 40 pound, 30 pound braid, 40 pound leader. Get, in, get the fish in a little bit quicker, maybe. Hmm, another yakka. A little bit going straight back down. Yakka. Got a pilly. So he's gone straight back down live again. So this will be interesting. One hook through the nose, just let the other one hang there. It's bigger sinker, so it should go down a bit quicker this time. It's better weighted. down there before, I wouldn't like to be him. Pretty serious fish down there. Too far down in the reef, I've just got to keep pulling him back up. I don't want him to go down and hide under a rock. Goodness. Big fish. Let me down in the reef, I think. Hmm. Very big fish, whatever that was. Big cod or something, because straight down. And I pretty much hooked him on the bottom. Bit chewy. No, rig up again. Take him anyway. Oh, good. 
It's a bloodbath. No. I'll take care of the sucker. I probably won't hang out for too much longer. Done all right, got me seven or eight fish. Can't complain of that. Pity we can't get anything nice trophy fish. I think the sharks might be having a bit of a play on that though. Good old mates, the sharks. Don't really want to go home, it's too nice out here. Fishing's probably only going to get better over the next hour. But, it'd be nice to get home, it's a bit of light. Got a good hour's run home from here, easy. Maybe more. Give him a few more years. Oh, I think that's going to be it from me. Well, thanks for tuning in, and um, yeah, I'll be getting out again soon, no doubt. And um, yeah, tune in next time. Take it easy, guys. See you later.